So in my last video, I briefly mentioned this, that feminism is actually a good thing for men. If you haven't checked that video out on my last video, the title is actually not that. The title, I think I said, uh, more women will be single, something like that. Where I briefly mentioned that feminism is actually a good thing for men. Now, if you really think about it, fellas, it actually makes sense. Here's why. <clears throat> What's feminism doing? Feminism, feminism is empowering women, right? At the expense of men, okay? Now, I get it that there's been laws coming in into play. I get it uh, that's not favoring men. I get it that the men who, aren't, who don't have much going on for themselves in their life, and they're not improving to do better in their life, they're not, improve, they're not improving themselves to do better in their life or not getting any action from women. I get all that, right? That's what feminism has done. Because before, if you were just an average guy making forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 a year, still you would have pretty good luck finding a decent looking woman who will quote unquote stay loyal to you. Because even we know that that women used to cheat. They have always cheated. They're probably just better at hiding back then than they are now because now they don't have an incentive to hide it because everybody's empowering them to do whatever they feel like doing. So I get it that this actually hurting the 80, 80 below 80% 80 of the men now. I get it that men are not happy and all that. But if you think about it, fellas, it also actually is giving us an incentive to do better for our own self. Right now, you can. That depends. That right there depends on how you view, how you perceive feminism. If you just throw up, throw your hands up and say, "Okay, I don't want to mess with it. It's just all BS. This is not benefiting me at all. The risk to reward ratio is just not worth it. Um, so I'm just gonna quit from the dating market." And I'm gonna do whatever I feel like doing. If I feel like being fat and being lazy and sitting on my sitting on my butt all day long, not going to school, not getting a good degree, not having a good job, then you do you, man. I don't have much to tell you then. Sounds like you already made up your mind. But those aren't really the type of guys I talk to here. You know, because even if you don't wanna do any of that for women for women to get laid to get some action from women, you still should be staying healthy for yourself. You still should be living a comfortable life for yourself, not paycheck to paycheck life, okay? Now, women can be a byproduct. Women are a byproduct of your success. They will come when they see that you have success and you have your stuff together. But that, if, if you don't want that to motivate you to do better, at least have yourself as a motivating factor. To do better for your own self okay because I and I strongly believe that as men we have so much potential to do so much more than we are doing right now that it's it's kind of a waste of a life waste of a whole lifetime if you don't do even a third of your potential I'm not even telling you to do two-thirds I'm telling you just a third one-third of your actual uh, maximum pot potential of doing great things in your life. So that's why I always encourage you guys to have a, to strive, to strive for a better lifestyle, to do better, to make more money, to make better, bigger businesses, to stay on your grind, to stay on your purpose, to stay in the gym, hit the weights, get a better body and all that, the whole package, right? You, you can't do anything about how, uh, tall you are, what your skin color is, how big your thing is between your legs. You can't do anything about that. You're, that's the hand you're dealt with, how ugly slash pretty you look. But you can still improve everything else. That's, that's, the, beauty, that's the beauty of being a man, be, being a man, is that regardless of all the disadvantages that we were given, that we were dealt, we still can work other sides of our life to make that up. As women, they don't have that. All they have is their looks because that's all men are attracted to. We don't know. When have you ever heard a woman's college degree turned a man on? <laughs> when, have, when have you ever heard her job title turn, uh, wanted him to go uh, 
take rip all the clothes off of her. Never. So fellas, use feminism in your own advantage because now that you know that these women out here are wanting the top 20, 10, 5% of men, you know that if you can get there, you can get pretty much all the women. You can get 80% of the women, if not all. 90% of women, if not all. Do you have any idea how much women that is? I'm, you're gonna come to me and be like, Zeke, yo, I need videos of you telling, you know, of you talking about how to manage these girls now, how to manage these girls on my rotation. That's the type of videos I need to start making at that point. And that's why feminism is a good thing because now, if we are the top 20% of men, we don't have that incentive to only settle down with one girl. We can have fun with as many girls as we want because of feminism. They have given them the green light to do so. They have, which also gave those top 20% of guys the green light to do so as well. You see what I'm saying? You see where I'm going, you see where I'm going with this? The, those top 20% of guys are highly, highly desire, desirable. This uh, excuses that women are making to you, oh, I don't know you, we need, to, we need to talk a little bit longer before you take me out on a date, you need to take me out on a date first before I come over all of this, all of this goes out the window as soon as she figures out you have money, you're high status, high value man, you have your stuff together. She'll break all the rules for you. So I want you guys to be that man. You know, I, as I just mentioned that if you don't want to do it for the women, if you don't want, if, you, if that's not your end goal is sleeping with as many women as you want, as you can, living a life with, where you don't even have to worry about any bill ever, paying any bill on time ever, where you have people doing stuff for you, where you're hiring people to cook food for you, where you're hiring people to bring you stuff and those people are actually privileged to do so because you're picking them over their peers, over their coworkers. That's where you are at your life. If you're living that type of lifestyle, fellas, it's obviously you guys know, obviously I know that if you guys could live that lifestyle, you would. You know that too, you know, you know that yourself as well. You, regardless of how much hating you might be out here doing uh, on rich, successful people, on Dan Bilzerian, and putting hateful comments on his page, whatever, regardless of, regardless of what you do, we all know that if we were given that choice of living that lifestyle, we would take it in a heartbeat. And that's the lifestyle I want you guys to strive for. If not for women, if not for the wealth, if not for the uh, luxury, then for yourself, at least. Because you know what will happen if you do it for yourself and, you're, and, and you don't have a, as much motivation as you would if you were doing to get laid, if you were doing for the women? You might not reach to that top 5 or 1% of percentile of men. You might not reach to making 2, 3, 4, 5 plus million dollars a year. But you'll probably reach 100,000, 200,000, 300,000 dollars a year. And that's still more than plenty to live off of, to live a luxury life off of, driving around Lamborghinis, Ferraris, and still having fun with a different girl every single night. Yeah, that's still more than enough. But if you are one of those type of guys who you know, just don't have, any, who are kind of blackpilled, don't have any incentive at all to do anything in life because you kind of just gave up, like, what's the point? Feminism has taken everything away from me. I understand your pain too, bro. Don't, don't, I'm not talking down on you either. I understand your pain. I actually thought to myself, sometimes I used to have those kind of thoughts. Like, what's the, what's the point? I mean, whatever, man, like, what what am I gonna get out of it? It's never gonna change. It's gonna it's actually it's gonna keep keep getting worse and worse. 
these women are gonna be out here getting more and more promiscuous. They're gonna be doing, showing more and more cleavage on, on their Instagram photos. They're gonna wear tighter and tighter clothes when they go out. They're gonna have more, they're gonna juggle more and more guys on their phone. So what's the point, right? The point is, you have one, one swing at this life. You have one life, that's it. And I don't want you to waste it. I want you to have fun in it. But to have fun comes with cost. You have to pay that cost as well. The cost of struggling, the cost of grinding, the cost of building a better life. That's just simple, common advice in life, right? You need to pay that price if you're trying to live that fun, if you're trying to have that fun. Feminism has allowed you to have that fun, which is why it's a great thing for us men as well. This is a hidden message. Don't let females know about it. Hope this video made sense. Like, comment, subscribe. Share this video to your friends. A lot of friends of yours might be struggling with women, might be struggling in life, and they don't know what to do. They don't know where to go. Give them this light in their darkness, this light of hope. Okay? If you're a black pill man, I understand your pain, but I'm not going to sit there and keep going along down in your path. I'm actually gonna to try to make you come to my path because bro, you have one life. The biggest regret, the biggest pain that you can have as a man in this one life is sitting on your, or laying on your deathbed at age 70, 80 and telling yourself that man, I wish I did that. That already sounds very painful, doesn't it? Until next time, stay blessed, stay beautiful, and above all, stay classy.